Alrighty, what's going on boys and girls? We're here with another video. And for those that are wondering, this particular video, you're looking at a kind of Steam Big Picture mode. This is a video talking about the mind frame in which we approach Linux gaming and how the mindset that Valve should have taken and the way it should have marketed it was terrible at the start. And that we as the Linux community need to actually be the ones to understand that it's a different way of looking at it. So the short version, uh, Valve initially launched Steam Machine, Steam OS, all that stuff. It's a console. It's a DIY console with a software base. So the way they should have marketed this is it's a console that you control. It's a console that you totally can update. You decide when to upgrade, when to not. There's no five or 10 years life cycle or, or support for like a company like Sony or Microsoft saying, we're done, next generation. You determine when the generations are. That's how they should have marketed it. They didn't. So that's what a lot of the problem is. And unfortunately, a lot of Linux gamers, they don't view this Linux gaming like they should. They view it in a Windows PC gaming mentality. And that's the wrong mentality to take because at the end of the day it's not about the one thing and do it well it's about purpose-built machines are just better if, if you look at appliances view things as an appliance for a task or tasks a set of tasks it's a lot different than a general purpose mentality and that's kind of where i fall in so th this is enough talking there Let's get into what this particular machine is. This is a quad core Core i7 second gen uh, 26, I believe it's 2630QM if I remember the actual spec. 16 gigs of DDR3 and a NVIDIA Quadro K3100M, which equates to about a GTX 770, so quite old. And it's running on 4 gigs of VRAM. It's running off a 750K hard drive, so any load times are not for the game themselves. It is the hard rust that it is spinning on. Totally my fault. Why Gamer OS and not Steam OS? Well, quite simple. Steam OS is all incredibly uh, Debian. Gamer OS actually is Arch based um, Atomic updates. So think Endless OS, uh, Fedora Silver Blue, that kind of base is what it goes for. You can change some of the stuff and the, the read only core, but it, generically it's not really recommended so I, I already know the first thing that's going to be brought up is you know custom version of proton like glorious Agro, all the other stuff you can probably do it i didn't dig into the documentation but from what it looked like stick with the vanilla steam play stuff so vanilla proton one of the nice things about this though is there are certain things that they do add so they, they have like a preloaded dolphin emulator if you want retro arch it's right there uh ps3 emulator Yuzu is, I believe, a Switch emulator. I'm not 100% sure. So there is that. And you can have like your NVIDIA settings and all that stuff. Two things that I found, at least in my setup, that you're gonna wanna do is change your sound stuff. So you, in this particular case, it doesn't really matter. Go to interface, go to reconfigure audio. As you can tell, I just charged the output through my DualShock 4. <laughs> right now I don't care because I'm not recording any audio, but you guys get the point. And the other thing is your controller settings. Generically, the generic gamepad controller uh, configuration support is the only one enabled. Things get a little, as Nate would say, cattywampus with some of the uh, button layouts and stuff in some games, recognizing it if you don't have the Xbox or PlayStation configuration ones enabled. So enable those. And if you have a Switch Pro controller or Wii U control, Pro controller, enable it. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, as far as your Steam Play stuff, if you want to enable it for your entire library, you can just go to Steam Play. As you can tell, I don't. There is a reason for that, and I'll get into that. So, there's the systems, there's the reason, there's the specs, all that fun stuff. What's it like actually using? Left button brings you to the browser. Hit it again, brings you back. Right button brings your friends list. Hit it again, bring it back. Really simple. Or you can use these if you want, you know. For me, what I have found is, let's go to the store. Now the store is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, games, wow, hey, look at that, more games. And all that stuff works, so, yep. 
I'm not going to be buying any games because I got plenty of them already, to be brutally honest. Uh, so let's go to the library. Resume and explore. Resume. These are the games that you last played. So here are some of the games that were last played, you know, your recent. Uh, installed. Now, I don't actually keep that particular filter for play on. I actually go to browse after I have enabled filters because what happens is if you go to install and you go down, um, your, your trigger buttons will go through the games alphabetically, as you can tell. What will happen is you will see your Proton versions kicking around in your library, which are super annoying. So I usually go to filter games, then go to browse games. Now, if you want to enable Steam Proton on a game by game basis, which is what I do, so let's example, Agress Worst. Normally, it'll look like that, not on Steam OS. So in order to enable that, so all you do is you click the tile, you go to manage game, go to Steam Play options, worst use, and as as you can tell, uh, 5.13-2. You click OK, back out, back out, go back to the game, and it's updating because, you know, I'm an idiot, but you know, whatever. You get the idea. And then generically what you can do is you can hit the giant play button and then it'll install and do its thing. Um, if you want to see your achievements, most of that stuff works. There you go. Updating, as you can tell, updating. That's gonna take a while. Let's go to that downloads page. So this is what your downloads page looks like. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's just pause that. And hey, look, paused. That's all there is to it. So let's get into actually playing a game. So say you have a Proton enabled game all installed and all that stuff. So let's uh, fire up Don't Make Cry 4 Special Edition. One thing that you'll notice is that this may say, talk about shaders. Generically, what happens is it's pre-compiling the, the shader cache. That can take a few seconds, a few minutes, depending on if you're using Rust or if you're using uh, an SSD or not. So just a heads up there. So as you can tell, DMC4, let's go start, load. Let's go to confirm. Oh, sure, I'll use, the, I'll use Nero, why not? Now again, some of these load times are not going to be indicative of the actual load times you will experience because I am using this on a spinning hard drive. I want to make that clear. But as you can simply see, like, I'm not really going to mess around too much with this, but like, as you guys get the idea, like, this is perfectly working for what it is. I'm not having any hardware issues. Everything is running fine. I mean, yeah, it's probably not running at 60, you know, like most, most of us hardcore gamers will like, but whatever. Oh, uh, good old Capcom. You gotta go the back way. Quit. Yes. And this will bring you back to the Steam page. Just like console. And the one thing that some people will mention is about, oh, you had to cache the shaders and that takes time. Uh, the next time you go over run out buy a new PS4 or PS5 or 360 or, you know, insert console here that requires internet, have fun with those 13, 14, 15, 16 gig downloads on day one. And that's being white. As an example, I bought Black Sad on the PS4. Day one, 13 gig download. I dropped the I dropped the disc in the console and it's supposed to it's supposed to just play. Nope, 13 gig download. Yeah, for an update. I'll take the micro updates more and more often. Um, so as far as how often Gamer OS is actually updated, Gamer OS is updated from what I've seen about every, once a month, give or take. The nice thing about this is it this is very much a console experience. 